What well, up, people of the internet? My name is Kevin, and welcome back to another video. So, guys, for today's video, we are going to be embracing love, happiness, love, being with someone, not being single like myself. This video is going to be the seven husbands of Irish reader, which is kind of ironic since I have zero husbands, zero boyfriends, zero even any prospects of a relationship. I thought of this idea a couple of weeks ago and I was like, I have to do it even though I am very single and we all know this, but we're gonna go with it anyways. So obviously The Seven Husbands of Irish Reader is very much based on the book, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. If you haven't read this book, read it now, please. Obviously, by the way, this video is not sponsored. Could you imagine me being sponsored? Like, no, that, that's not gonna happen. I'm just doing this because I love this book and I thought it would make a fun video so that's the only reason I'm doing it and the title of the video is based off the book. Just wanted to put that out there in case anyone was wondering. So as you all know Valentine's Day is approaching. Can't wait to do nothing and just love myself. But you know what? Loving yourself is fine. Like BTS tell us that all the time to love yourself. I am fine by that. I'm wearing my Tata ears. I am wearing red. I am feeling the love. Like it's fine. I have Reese. <laughs> Me and Reese will do something together, it's fine. Like, I'm not totally alone, and I love myself anyway, so it's fine. Not gonna lie, kinda wish I had a boyfriend. So yes, basically I'm just gonna tell you guys some of my fictional book boyfriends from books that I adore and love. I did one of these videos a couple of years ago, but I'm gonna refresh one and do a new one right now for you guys. So these are basically my seven book husbands, or like, fictional crushes, whatever, from books. Boys that I like, basically. It's in no particular order, it's just seven boys that I really like, and I wish they were my husband in real life, but they're fictional. That's basically the whole point of this video. So the first one we're going to talk about should be coming at no surprise, and I already mentioned him earlier in the video, but that is Reese. This is husband number one, and I love and adore him very, very much. Like, we're together 24-7, it's a great time. I have no judgments. He's obviously from the Court of Thorns and Roses series. If you haven't read it, you need to go do that now. Like, please do it. Um, I'm not asking for much, I just want you to read that. But yes, this is my first husband. He will always be, like, the main husband, like, THE husband, and the rest are kind of like, my side pieces. This is the first fictional husband I want to talk about and the first husband of Irish Reader and I love and adore him so much. Now you go back over there. Oh my god, look at that. I threw him and he went perfectly fine. Like, he just knows how to use his wings to fly perfectly back to his spot on the bed. So my next fictional husband is Wolf from the Lunar Chronicles. Now, he is a very, very new husband of mine and book boyfriend. I love him so freaking much. I just read Scarlet recently in January and I talked about it in my January wrap-up. If you want to watch that, I'll leave a link up here for you to watch. And I am obsessed with Wolf. I love him so, so much. Like, he is just... I love him. If you haven't read the Lunar Chronicles series, which I'm sure everyone has, I'm just very late to the hype train because I don't know why I was waiting around. I was making very bad choices in my life, but I'm glad I finally read it and now he's in my life, you know? So I made some good choices. I just wish I made them sooner. So Wolf is just amazing. I love Wolf and how protective he is. It's very similar to Reese. It's so attractive to me because I, I want you to be that protective over me because I'm your man. I just love how like Wolf he is. <laughs> If that makes sense. So my third husband is Kale Westfall from the Throne of Glass series. I love Kale with all of my little heart. Once again, I love all of these people, obviously, so I'm gonna probably say that every single time, but I do love Kale a lot. Kale was one of my first book husbands, like one of my very first, and he still remains in my heart and soul. And I don't think he's gonna ever remove himself, so that's great. The reasons I love Kale is just because he's just so dreamy. <laughs> He has brown hair, I love some dark hair. In my opinion, he's like a better Tobias from the Divergent series, so that's kind of tea, because I also love Tobias, but like, Kale is like a better version. Is that a bit controversial? Should I have said that? So husband number four of mine is also from the Akatar universe, and that is Cassian. Now Cassian, the reasons that I love him so much there are many, but we'll just get into a few of them. He is so protective, and he is also kind of like stubborn and sarcastic, which I find really attractive. Sarcasm is really attractive for me because I love being sarcastic myself, and I feel like I could banter off someone else if they're being sarcastic, you know what I mean? So I think that could be a really little cute thing that we do as a couple, it would be so adorable. And he'd also just protect anyone, so we love that. He's just so brave, like we love a good Gryffindor, you know, we have to have a Gryffindor to my Hufflepuffness, you know, so that's great that we have a Gryffindor beside me. And yeah, I just love Cassian so much and I know my friend Perina loves Cassian too, so I'm sorry for mentioning him, Perina. I hope you're not too mad, but also don't really care. So my fifth husband is also from the Lunar Chronicles series and that is 
Carswell Thorn or Captain Thorn, whatever you want to call him, that guy. He is so funny and he kind of reminds me of like Captain Jack Sparrow, except like a more attractive version. And I've already read Scarlet, which is the first book he appears in, and I'm already in love with him, so I'm afraid to keep going with the series and see how much more I'm gonna become trash for him, because everyone says he just gets more lovable as the series goes, and I'm already in love with him. He already has my heart, and my heart will go on as Celine Dion would say. Like just Captain Thorne, it's just great. He also has like his own spaceship, you know, like he can just like fly us all around the world and it'd just be great. Like I don't see any flaws to this like marriage between the two of us, so it just works out great that he's one of my husbands. So love that for me. And my sixth husband is another Lunar Chronicles boy. This series has too many bays, I'm just saying, and I'm only on the second book. But yes, anyways, the who the person is, is Prince Kai. I love him so much, especially in the first book, Cinder. That's when I really, really fell for him and he won my heart. And he just has such a loving heart and he just seems like a little kind, little soul, little bean of a person. And also I just love his name, like I really love the name Kai and also his name begins with K and I believe my name begins with a K so we give like the new Kardashians. <laughs> Ew, kind of hate that. Kind of don't want that for us. Like, who doesn't want to marry a prince? Like, we all do. We all want that for ourselves. And my seventh and final husband is Mark Blackthorne from The Dark Artifices. Mark is just amazing. I love how clueless Mark is at times. I also love his, like, one-liners at times. I also love how uh, trashy he is at times. I just love a lot about Mark because he's just such a complex character. And he's just so perfect as well. Like, he has some amazing moments and... Like, he melts my heart a lot, and there's parts that he does really cute things, and like, it just doesn't help because I really wish he was real. And he just needs to come out with the book and be with me, and that would be great, would much appreciate that. And out of the seven husbands I've talked about, he is the only one that's actually obtainable to me if he was a real life character, because he's the only one that might actually be interested in me, because I'm also a male and he's bisexual. So guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below some of your book boyfriends, book girlfriends, book husbands, book wives, down below in the comments. I would love to know and we can just gush about characters and yes other than that i shall see you all next time in my next video so goodbye guys